Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the finale of Diddy Kong Racing. And I'm really excited to be here in the final episode. Um, when I started this YouTube channel, I knew that this was going to be one of the first games I played. And I can't believe I'm wrapping it up. So we're going to have Taj transform us into a plane one final time. Thank you for your service, Taj, brother. Yup. Yeah, and we're going to get right back with it. So this episode is going to cover Future Funland Silver Coin Challenge. And then um, we're going to wrap it up after that with a, uh, as you might guess, boss encounter. So we're going to go right back to Space Dust Alley and uh, collect up some silver coins this time. It sounds like he says Space Dust Valley. Or Val, 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 Val. Alright, let's do it. Got the blue boost starting this episode off right. It is the finale, and I really want this one to sit well with y'all. So we'll get that one next time. And that one next time. How about I just quit patting myself on the fucking back and uh, play the goddamn game, huh? Alright, we still got hit by that, and we're going to get hit by that one too. We got a little hallway here. There's a, a silver coin on the left that we'll hit next lap. So there's a tricky one up here that I always had a hard time with because of that. And it didn't it didn't take. But hey, what are you going to do? We'll grab it. We've got plenty to grab next time. There is a lower route where uh, we're missing, I think, two. So yeah, five more to go on lap two. But hey, it's just that, lap two. We've got lap three ahead of us. All right, so got to remember my old advice. We're going to opt not to hit those boosts because I know I can win after I get all these. I can collect the bananas, though, when I got the time. Banjo keeps stealing my balloons. All right, we're going to go ahead and scoop this one up on the left side. Hit a tree in the process. But everybody's been there. Who hasn't crashed their vehicle into a tree? Be honest. All right. We got that one, and I'm going to take an emergency cut down yonder for the last one. Get some more bananas. And uh, before this lap's over, we'll have overtaken Mr. Banjo and have ourselves a decent little lead. Boom, let's finish it up. So yeah, Future Funland. What a great level. I, I uh, covered this in the last episode. It... Uh, it was like old and new to me at the same time and now I'm finally at the point where I'm just as good as I am with the other worlds it's a good feeling good feeling to have a childhood classic down completely okay just navigate on through here we got our little boost and uh, let's get a nice big one for the finish oh yeah piece of cake as the great Falco says Skip Boy Taj. We'll watch the last one. We'll watch the last Taj. And now we're coming up to good old Dark Moon Caverns. This one is the trickiest silver coin challenge in the game, in my opinion. So hopefully I can focus and get it going. Alright, so we got this guy right here. I'm going to go ahead and get these bananas as well. Skip and boost because they've got some coming up. We'll get that next time. But I can't, I, it's crucial that I don't let them get too big of a lead on me. Because this one can really, this one can really get away from you quick. So, normally I say, you know, just take your time and you'll be able to come back and win. But really be careful on this one. Alright, here we go. We're getting the bananas pretty well. I got a boost here. And we're coming into the first loop-de-loop -loop doing okay. I've seen a decent amount of coins so far. I think we have uh, three that I can collect next time. Yes, we know where all three are. So we're going to be just fine. Still in fourth place. Second now. First? Hell yeah. Get a little bit of something, right? All right, so it's just right down here. I thought it was on the inside on the first uh, bend for some reason. We'll get this. Nope. But we get this one. Only one more for lap three, and it's a pretty easy one. I don't know why I've missed it, but... That's fine. As long as we get it next time around. Oh, I don't know why my drift switched either, but... It did, and we're just going to have to live with the consequences. Getting a little jumpy. I need to focus here, guys. Go over this loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling good. 
so uh, since we got a little time to kill this is my second run through on this and it's not due to uh, like messing up or anything like that I forgot to mix my audio on uh, OBS and you could barely hear me and it was a really good take oh god I was so so upset so I had to go all the way through this file uh, starting from Sherbet Island, I had to beat that boss and then beat Wizpig one again and go through Future Funland, and it took forever, man. I, I struggled through Wizpig one. I was in a bad mood when I was recording, so it's probably for the best anyway. And, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap this up nice and easy. We're doing even better than we did without the silver coins. Ooh, lucky that went away. Okay, so there we go. Dark Moon Caverns is done. And uh, as a little intermission between the four levels, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to unlock a secret character. I did this on my first take, so I will edit it in, wait for my dumbass to quit talking, and bring it right back here. Now, you might notice we got a, we got a different looking frog right here. What's this all about? Oh, what the hell? I, I, I feel like it needs to die. Oh, shit. We just unlocked a new character. We got Drumstick. All right, so as we uh, go into Spaceport Alpha, what I was trying to say is Drumstick is supposedly the best racer on the island. Wizpig knew this and turned him into a frog. And now we're racing against him. All right. This one gave me some trouble on my first take because I couldn't find one last silver coin. Like, I could get up to first and win and shit, but uh, there was one silver coin because I always go low on a certain part, and it's high. Super frustrating, but now we've got the glory of take number two. As usual, grab that shield. It will protect you. Go up here, get this silver coin. And I always go super low right here, and there's an elusive bastard right up here. That trick was totally unintentional. looked really cool. All right. We are just cruising, guys. I don't, I don't really care how uh, we are not in first, because one coin left, and it's in that vent. I kind of cut up a little early, which is what you should do. That vent can be tricky. Um, as soon as you get down here and you clear this part, start pulling up when you're not going for the coin. And uh, you'll, you'll get through it with no issues. So now, we'll just clear here, get this, and start boosting like madmen, y'all. There we go, that was a good turn. Get that banana count up, as per usual. Should probably get boost if you see him, though. Don't, don't be me, kids. All right, yeah, man, it feels so good to be back recording. I took a I took a night off last night because, um, you know, you gotta you gotta let your brain kind of process what you've been doing, and I, I felt that that was a good choice. Definitely feeling good, and I hope you're all feeling good too. I hope when you see this, it's kind of early in your day. I don't know if you're working or if you're at school, whatever you're doing. I hope I hope you're having a good time. Not necessarily a good time. Who has a good time at work and school? I hope, I hope you're just having an enjoyable day. Despite the fact that you are somewhere where you do not want to be. And that concludes Spaceport Alpha. Silver Coin Challenge, all set. And we are going into our last traditional race of this playthrough in Star City. And it's really just going to be a victory lap because we know this level backwards and forwards, right? This is just a fun clean simple lap level all right new boost but no big deal let's go ahead and get some uh, nanners yeah get at him get out of here all right, I'm not gonna take the super boost because I would fling off that little edge and who wants to do that not me I'm gonna hang on to this and just go for coins right now and if Drumstick, the alleged best racer on the island, passes me, we'll go ahead and boost him. Oh, he was there. Now, I don't know what that scrub's doing now. 
Hell yeah, man. This is this is where it's at. Oh, damn it. I, I wanted them all on one lap. What are you going to do? So yeah, five bananas. We can uh, we can increase that and get one more silver coin and just take a nice, relaxing little victory lap with plenty, plenty of lead. Okay. Oh, I missed it. No biggie. No biggie. No biggie. I gotta quit saying no big deal. I'm like telling that to myself more than I'm telling it to you guys. Nine times out of ten. All right, last little curve. Boom. Easy. And look at that lead. Not too bad. <laughs> I almost did it again. Man, well, how, how fun has this been? It was for me. Like, this game is just such a good game. Such a good classic. And uh, I know that it's kind of overlooked by a lot of people. You really had to grow up in the N64 generation to, I, I wouldn't say be familiar with it, but to appreciate it. And uh, hey, if you're an outlier, let me know how uh, any younger or older viewers, tell me how you got into Diddy Kong Racing. There we go. We're gonna go through the whole Taj ceremony. We're gonna let this, let this do a slow burn. Because this is our last balloon. But we can't rest yet. Because it's getting real. Whiz Pig round two. Look at that ship up there looking down at us. We don't even have a choice to back out of this. The game is like, hey, it's time to fight. Like, you gotta you gotta get this going. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So he's on a rocket this time. And uh, it's a plane level, y'all. I think we'll be just fine. <laughs> the little worm that kicked your ass. Fucking asshole Wizpig, man. Alright, so Wizpig won. Still definitely the hardest boss in the game, like I said. But uh, this is no slouch either. You have, you've got a lot of obstacles, and you got to be really careful. Oh, my sweet Jesus. It's been a very long time. Let's see if I can snipe him. Oh, what? Come on, man. All right, so, yeah, hit that blue balloon every time. You can get it pretty freely. That's pretty much how you gain ground if you fall behind. But I don't plan on doing that. I plan on taking this lead here when I can, and we'll be good. Oh, yeah, the shield. So, uh, this, this is like Spaceport Alpha with all the lasers, except times 10. Get that shield every time or you'll get hit. Probably more than once. And watch out for the lasers on this part, too. The asteroids, everything. But you've got the plane. You've got a little bit more control. Not, not as much to worry about. No water to fall in. That was the biggest issue uh, when I was learning how to play Wizpig 1. But yeah, here we go. Uh, we're doing okay, but this is a, a final boss, so don't rest on your laurels, because he'll catch up to you. I guarantee it. All right, I'm not going to try to do anything fancy. We're just going to get this shield. If I see an easily obtainable boost, I'll grab it and use it in a place where I won't get punished. Like right here, this one, I'm just going to skip that. There's no need. We've got an okay seed, okay lead. Okay, feed. Um, all right. I'm getting those uh, those heart stutters. That are that means I either eat way too many chicken wings or uh, I'm really into this fucking game. And I honestly think it's a little bit of both. Here we go. This final navigation. I mean, but I'm telling you, if I hit a wall, he'll catch up, and I won't have time to recover from it. So. Uh, this is this is still pretty suspenseful. Here we go. All right, guys. I think I pretty much have it in the bag. Oh yeah! We just beat Diddy Kong Racing together. Ah, oh, that's awesome.
Look at this son of a bitch. Dude, we were so fast, his rocket is fucking malfunctioning. Looks like he's going to uh, the moon. <laughs> or another planet. I don't know. As long as it's as far away from me as possible, I'm okay with that. Although, I think he might... He, he could have been a, a, a good villain for Diddy in, like, a, a future Donkey Kong Country game had Rare continued to be a Nintendo company. A, a Nintendo second party, like Retro Studios. Alright, here we go, though. We get the true ending. Oh, look at that Taj statue, solid gold. And we got a little conga line. You know what, these guys deserved it. They had a rough day of driving carts and hovercrafts and planes. And there was a big scary pig. But one Mr. Diddy Kong was here to save the day. Look at that frame rate. Oh, we got Tricky, Tricky the boss. And actually, that little pink one, his son, uh, that is the, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Triceratops from Star Fox Adventures, the GameCube game. It's the Star Fox game where you play it like Zelda. Same character. That was cute. It's Drumstick! Oh, and we got Jerry the Janitor and Tony Tracy hanging out. COPD and clock body. Tony Tracy's decided to stay as a clock after uh, much thought and deliberation, but there is a little bit more to TT. And uh, maybe one day you'll see me unlock him. But now we got Timber riding the dragon, Diddy Kong in his signature plane, and everything is as it. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything is as it should be on this beautiful little island. What a happy ending. It's been a while since I've seen that. I kind of forgot it. Forgot it was there. Uh-oh. Looks like Wizpig didn't go down all the way. But don't worry. You literally never see him in another game for the rest of history. And we're at the credits. What a fun one. I really enjoyed playing this on this channel. Um, Diddy Kong Racing is one of my favorite N64 games, one of my favorite games of all time. And I say that a lot, but I mean, hey, it's my first YouTube channel. Like, I'm not going to play some of my favorite games ever. Uh, just the, the adventure mode. The adventure mode is great with plenty of progression. You easily run through, familiarize yourself with the first few worlds. You go back and do extended challenges. You find secrets, which unlock more challenges in the keys and unlocking the amulets and the bosses. The bosses are great, they're actually challenging. And uh, then you get your secret world and you go up into space and you fight the boss one last time. Perfectly sized game. I mean, what, if I added this all up, how much? How long have I been playing this? Probably like, what, five or six hours maybe? If that, uh, probably like three hours. I don't know, but I'm also, you know, playing this for my nth time, so. But yeah, you have the three different uh, styles of play with the cart, with the hovercraft, with the plane, and they are all good enough to stand on their own. Um, you got a nice little character roster when Rare was just churning out those platform characters. Yeah, just the music, the, the scenery, the graphics, everything about this game, I think firmly puts it above Mario Kart 64 as a complete package. Um, I think Mario Kart 64 has some brilliantly designed levels and it's very focused, but it's a lot shorter and uh, I enjoy the variety and uh, I honestly, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I just like Diddy Kong Racing better. Mario Kart's one of my favorite series of all time and as it has come out through the years, it's evolved with every release into near perfection with Mario Kart 8, in my opinion. The, the outlier being uh, Mario Kart Double Dash where it just kind of went with the more technical route and I think that that's one of the best games in the series. I would put that I would put 8 and Double Dash on the same level personally. 
But yeah, here we go. This is it. Um, you can unlock TT in this game. And you do that by doing the time trials, which are fucking insane. I've done them twice, and I will probably do them again, and I'll, I'll keep it recording, and I'll commentate, and I'll just make like a master cut. But don't expect that anytime soon. Um, I, I'll kind of do that whenever I have free time. Um, maybe I'll use it as like a warm-up for my recording and stuff. But yeah, I'll make a little master track, and then we'll do a couple races with uh, TT, our good old Tony Tracy who hopefully never sees these videos. It's just this kid I went to high school with, but his initials are TT. I have to fucking say it, right? I mean, we're, we were friends, don't get me wrong, but. All right, yeah, this is wrapping up. What a beautiful fucking game. And I'm so happy that uh, I got to actually share it with you guys this time, of course, because that last finale take was good shit, and I fucked it up. And it won't be the last time. I guarantee you that. So, hey. As always, when we finish a series, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing it. And uh, I hope the next couple games that I have coming up are up your alley. Because I'm going to have a lot of fun playing those too. So, we'll catch you there.